In this shoemaking tutorial, I will show you what are three materials that you can use to make stiffeners from if you want to make shoes at home. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's start! Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. First of all, I want to explain you what are stiffeners in shoemaking. Stiffeners is the inner part of the footwear that we place in the back part of the shoes and in front part of the shoes to create shape of our shoes that will repeat the shape of the shoe last and in the same time it will protect our feet. This is for example two stiffeners that we use in shoemaking. This one is counters that we place in the back part between upper and lining during process of lasting and this is the toe puff that we place in the front part of footwear. To create stiffeners you need first to have a basic pattern of your footwear and working with this basic pattern you will create pattern for your counters and toe puffs and in my shoemaking courses, different courses, I teach how to create stiffeners for shoelaces with low heels, shoelaces with high heels the approach is the same, you just need to know the rules of this pattern construction. First material is non-woven chemical fabric, this one. It could be with different thickness, but I recommend to work with thickness of 1 mm or at least 0.8 mm. To work with this material, you should have pattern of the stiffeners, counters and the toe puffs. And before you, you will use this fabric, you will need to activate it with some solvent. And this could be one of the disadvantages of, of uh, this material, working with this material. Because when you will activate it with solvent, you should work fast. Because it will dry very fast and to create shape of your shoes, so it will keep the shape of your shoe last. This material, I mean, you should work very fast. The advantage of this material is it's very easy to prepare. You just need to cut it out from pattern and that's it. Skype a little bit the edge and that's it. Second material that you can use to make stiffeners from in making your shoes at home, this material, thermoplastic material. It's kind of synthetic fabric with the glue inside of this material that you can activate working with heat. Domestic fan will not help you, so you will need to use industrial fan. Before you will go to use it, you of course need to have these patterns of stiffener, stove puffs, cut it out, sky a little bit edge and work with fan. I personally don't like this material, I prefer another material and in a minute I will talk about it. But if you want to work with this material, I teach how to work with it in my sneakers course where we show how to activate it, how to last your shoes working with this thermoplastic material. And third material, the last one, my favorite material is vegetable tanned leather from which we can create beautiful counters, beautiful toe puffs. And if you want, you can buy ready-made stiffeners made from vegetable tanned leather. If you, for example, uh, want to create big amount of shoes, you can buy ready-made stiffeners with big sizes and then cut it, them out using your pattern of counters and uh, toe puffs. If you just started making shoes or want to make shoes only for yourself, you can make the stiffeners by yourself from vegetable tan leather. This, for example, one of them, another type of vegetable tan leather. You see, it's for example, it's more, uh, it's thicker than this one, but the thickness that uh, of vegetable tan leather that you can use for stiffeners is between two millimeters and three millimeters. The good part of vegetable tan leather is the shoulder part. And uh, why I prefer this material? Because 
it doesn't have any smell like for example with the this uh, chemical non-woven fabric and you can work very slowly with vegetable and leather if you make some mistake you can take it off uh, wet it again because to, to create nice shape that will repeat shape of your shoeless you should place it in water okay it's natural material it's it's very nice to work with that's why i work with this a, a lot and you know working with this vegetable tan leather stiffeners you can create very beautiful shape of your shoes if you want you can make the back part of your shoes more rounded or with the curve that goes very deep in the end of our shoes in the beginning of the bottom also if you want to create very thin edge of your pointed toe shoeless you also can create this edge by heating vegetable and leather with hammer and uh, of course if you will prefer to use this vegetable tan leather toe puffs working with pointed toe shoeless you need to scarf this area very well so you will have this thin pointed toe like your shoe last has so that's why i love to work with this material also it may have one disadvantage is the preparing raw vegetable tan leather to be used in uh, stiffeners because you need to sky with you need to create this beautiful shape and it will take you some time okay but i prefer this material the most in making shoes okay so that's it this is the pattern that you should ha have before you will choose the right material for you to create stiffeners in making your shoes at home that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!